that to clear the obstacles as they are presented to you. The second you clear the obstacle, whether it's a grip or a knee or an ankle or a foot or whatever, you hit them, boom. Because the second you clear, if you clear and wait, they'll, they'll counter, they'll move, they'll adjust, they'll grab, they'll cover, whatever. But if you can clear and hit at the same time, disconnect, swim, hit at the same time, they have to defend. And during when, they, when you freeze them during the defense, then you can get in closer and closer and closer. So you don't want to just dive in all at once. You do it in layers, you know. Ready? Set? So I split the guard, I, ver I do what I call verify the split, which means I, I basically keep them split. And then off of that, that gets me close enough to usually get to their hands and their arms. So I use hand control. Once I get hand control, now I start, I, I would like to cross his arms over. Um, if he's laying on one side, I like to keep that top arm down because the bottom arm can't reach you. So I like to cross guys over a lot and hit them off the cross and then slowly just kind of work my way up the side now. Who else was hard to get in on? Who else felt that Jerry. They, were, Jerry. they were catching an ass from the bottom? Jerry. So what was the problem? Who had a tough time with Jerry? Go ahead. Yeah, Jerry's getting your hands. Exactly what he needs to do. That's it. That's the problem. Nice. Not nice. What, what am I doing? Am I rushing? No. 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 I'm reaching for them. You're making him carry your yep. weight too. Again, what am I doing? What's the difference? I gotta reach for the for the arms. So I'm chasing them down instead of them coming that, to me. Yeah, I'm getting you to reach. What? Why are you reaching? Because you're standing straight no. up. Because I'm making you yeah. do what? Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? Well, you're pinning me, carrying your weight. Connecting. Push. I'm connecting. So now, look. Now, go. Reach. Reach. Well, what's the problem? Yeah. This is the problem. Kevin's hips. I got my legs. Hips. So he becomes a stationary target. The second I disconnect, go. Whoop. Boom. All I gotta do is beware. Inside. All I gotta do is be on the inside. So once I'm here and I start getting him, uh, oh, oh, you want this one? Uh, and as I do that, I pass. So the hip pressure is consistent. If I can cross him over here, I like this. Hit me with your right hand. Oh, hit me with your right hand. Just reach me with your right hand. Oh, I know you can. My shoulder's your left, hand, your left hand, you can. Yeah. So what am I trying to get to? The bottom hand or the top hand? Top hand. Always. No, hit me. <laughs> Sucks, right? Yeah. Do you also do that to prevent him from lifting you up? Of course. Like here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I position myself lifting. You can't lift. Why, why do I like the split? Why do I like the high split? He only has one hook. He only has one hook. So have you, how, how is it? How many guys were you able to lift today with one hook? Nobody. Why? They're heavy. Way too heavy. What do you need? Both. Why do you think we split them? The reason for the split is to prevent control. It's to prevent them uh, from being able to move us, to maneuver us, to elevate us. What do they have on the bottom? <clears throat> Hook sweep. So the reason I pass this particular way is because it allows me several things. One, it allows me to posture while maintaining control of the opponent's hips while allowing my hands to remain free. That's why I land so many shots on you guys. Because my hands are always free. You guys don't grab my hands. And when the second you guys start grabbing my hands, what's the first thing I do? Clear it. Clear the hands. Now, how do I do that? Swim. You can swim. What, how else can you do it? Cross grip. Wrist releases. The wrist releases that you guys learn in the beginner's class are used everywhere. The second they grab you, clear you hit. The best time to hit is when? Off a of clear. The second you clear, he's a reaching, boom, you're hitting him. So you just kind of gradually and slowly do it. You land your shots. I'm in no rush to pass the guard. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tag you until you do something stupid, until you get frustrated. You, you, know, you start reaching. You, you start making it over adjustments with your hips, whatever the case may be. The second that you start to feel the frustration of you constantly getting hit, then 
then I start to pass. So for right now, I focus on keeping my hips heavy. I, I focus on keeping the, verifying the splint and keeping the, the guard split. Because the second that he puts that hook in, that's like, then you're getting elevated, then you're getting swept to one side or the other. So by splitting, it prevents the lift. It also <clears throat> puts you in range. If the feet are on my hips, I'm out of range. But if I split, I'm completely within my range. And I don't have to overcommit. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I have the body and I have the head. Right? What if he grabs my feet? Grab my feet. First thing I do when he grabs my feet is what? Under my neck. Yeah, because if he grabs my feet, him just elevating his hips is going to make me want to fall back. Right? So I'm here and he grabs my feet. Grab my feet. Boom. Grab my feet. Boom. The second his hands go down to grab my feet, what am I hitting him with? Anything. The it can't be grab. Start to elevate. Now I, no. It's got to be grab my feet. Boom. The second he touches both of my feet, grab my feet. Boom. Grab my feet. Boom. Grab my feet. Every time. Grab my feet. Grab my Boom. Grab my feet. Every time he grabs your feet, that's your automatic in, uh, uh, invitation to smash him in the head. Every single time. And I'm just touching him. But what happens if I really rifle a shot off at him? Boom. He's got, think of this shot right here. Grab my feet. Boom. Think of the shot. I'm completely planted. I'm completely within range. There's no overextension. There's no overcommitment. It's a clean shot. If he grabs one, it's cool. Sometimes he starts pushing my, pushing me here. Which one do I want to hit him with? Inside. This one. I can go here. Boom. When you start to bring your hands up, now I clear. Boom. The second one comes over the top. It becomes a pattern. If somebody grabs your feet, what's the first thing you do? That's your default. If I'm splitting his guard and he puts his foot on the hip, what's my default? Step back, step forward. Step back, step forward. What's my default if that one comes around? Hip, arm, and elbow. What if he puts the foot on the hip? Step back, step back. Or at least disconnect and reconnect. You see what I'm saying? We're going to work on this week what the default behaviors are. So I want you to be able to pound and pass with a little bit more uh, ease, a little bit more consistency, a little bit more balance, and to really look at what the system is teaching you rather than just trying to hit whenever you can or defend whenever you can. No, there's a, there's a definite uh, system to what I'm doing. So for the guy on the bottom, he's got to follow the three basic patterns, the three basic rules. Distance management, inside control, and being sticky. The guy on top is trying to constantly have the guy on the bottom engage, his legs always engaged, because if his legs are always working and they're always engaged, they're going to fatigue. And the second he starts grabbing the legs, what I'm looking to, to do on top is I'm looking to hit. Now as they cover, that's when I start to pass. So it becomes a pattern. The, 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 the pass sets up the strikes and the strike sets up the pass.